But we are back, and I'm not quite sure about this one as to whether this could actually be a good buy <laughs> alternative to liquid latex when it comes to top coating. Now, I had a little play around yesterday on a piece, so I've got a bad piece here. I'm not really overly happy with it. We're going to transform it. Here's the one that I did yesterday, and I went way overboard with my white pigment as you can see but it's a really cool effect and again this was just a bad piece that I've covered so I'm just going to use some adhesive vinyl I'm just going to place my coaster onto the vinyl and then I'm just using a pin and all I'm going to do is just score a cutting line around the piece and there we have it ready to cut out with some scissors now don't judge me this is only my third ever try of waves we're not here for that <laughs> we're not here to judge the waves they could turn out really really bad we're here for the baby lotion on the bottom and you will see just how easy it just pulls away once we've completed it so I have my piece cut out all I'm going to do is just make sure that the surface make sure the surface is the the side that was touching the mold because that is going to be your flatter side if you try this again we are really here just to see how the baby lotion works and this is sticky back so just peel off line up carefully and a deer and then just carefully work it down you don't want any bubbles and then if you've got any sticky outy bits really sharp craft knife and just carefully run that around and just take off any excess and also just bear in mind that the vinyl that I'm using is quite transparent it's not really showing through on this one but just be careful because you don't want it showing through too much. So this is just my Bodget old mould pre-mixing cup stacked. It does help if you get it really level, but it's just it's just for the purpose of the video. So we're going to flip that over, baby lotion. Let me show you the bottle because lots of you have been asking which one it is. And this is the one that I'm using. So it's with coconut oil. It is this brand. Again, I've just got it in my bottle. So I'm just going to squeeze that. Put on a decent amount. Just around the outside. A little bit, just in case it runs in. And then all you do is just bring that as close to the edge. Now, I know some people do this with Vaseline, but just Vaseline just is really messy. And this isn't. You just work that all around the underside of the edge. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's all covered. Some of it is going to touch the cups, so I do know that. It's more to make sure that edging is protected. So I just mixed up my resin. I'm using a fast cure. I'm not even worried. I don't even care that I'm going to have lots of bubbles in this. It's not about that. <laughs> so into a separate cup. I'm going to be using my homemade white pigment paste that I made in video 177. I had to look it up because I forgot. Yeah, hashtag 177. I'm not even going to be precise with measurements. I'm just going to add a blob. Quite a big blob. <laughs> and just so I know I can get some decent cells, I'm going to add some silicon oil to that also and then just thoroughly mix that up as always massive shout out to my channel members anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks and to any new subscribers so now just pour on some of my resin and just spread that over the whole piece I'm just going to get messy why not I don't normally get messy with resin. 
Now just make sure you cover the sides also. I probably should have sanded the sides first. I don't do top coating much. Quick torch. Got my heat gun at the ready. Where I went wrong yesterday is I just poured my white over the whole piece. I try not to do that this time. I'm going to use my stirring stick this time. <laughs> and just drizzle that across. Again, don't judge me. It's only my third time trying waves. I know there's better ways of doing it. Better and tidier ways. But hopefully we'll get some good results anyway. Could have added some sand. Didn't want to. I've also got a flat nozzle for my air gun, heat gun, but I can't find it. I'm just going to put that on the lower setting to begin with. Just loosen that resin up. Now I'm going to stick it on high. I'll try and edit the volume out afterwards. <laughs> I think that'll do for the purpose of the video. You can see the cells coming through. It's gonna move around for a little while. But the resin is dripping off the sides, which is good. I think I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'm just not happy with it though. A bigger wave. I'm not a pro at this. I'm definitely just leaving it as it is because I'm just going to make things worse if I carry on. I think maybe I use too much white pigment paste. Who knows? It is time. Um, not the best waves, but actually, they are more like clouds, I think. <laughs> but look at that colour. I mean, this will change colours in different light with the reflections, but it's not about this. It's about this. So the good thing about this is there's no waiting for whatever you're putting on the bottom to dry, which can take hours. There's no fiddly sticky tape that you've then got to keep buying. But watch this. As simple as that. And there's not actually that much on the on the bottom at all. It's just It just pulls away. You're going to have some stubborn bits like this bit gonna take a little bit more work to get off let me get my stick just my wooden stick and just give it a a good push you can warm the resin if you want just a little bit of a heat gun but it does that that bit was quite stubborn compared to my my previous see that just took a, a, a little bit of a push so I think lotion wise just put on a bit more than what i did but you can see it just it just comes off so so easy and then with the excess we just literally just wipe it off so there's there's no waiting for it to dry you're good to go as soon as you put the lotion on just flip it over and do your top coat a couple of bits still around the edge again they just Pop off really, really super easy. I know I've got a bit of a sharp edge on this one. I just used this coaster as an example. But yeah, as always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you haven't subbed, hit that button for me. I think that's a really, really quick and easy alternative to latex, PVA glue, tape, whatever you do. I'm not telling you you have to do this, but give it a try and see how you get on. But remember, a bit more lotion than what I used. Right, I will see you for the next one. Look at that. <laughs> Bye for now. It's definitely an improvement on what it was though, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> Bye for now.